Subscribe now for daily United Kingdom entertainment news. Scoop Film Review Behind the Scenes of the BBC's Prince Andrew Interview Movie tells the story of the prince's decision to discuss his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein on camera. Please use the sharing tools found via the share button at the top or side of articles. Copying articles to share with others is a breach of FT.com TNC's and copyright policy. Email licensing at FT.com to buy additional rights. Subscribers may share up to 10 or 20 articles per month using the gift article service. More information can be found at https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash tur. https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash content slash 29043102d-7 for a 5 dash 46 to dash 9b19 dash 19297c88ca90. The truth is still out there if by there we mean Woking Pizza Express. Five years have passed since Prince Andrew sat for the cameras of the BBC's Newsnight to discuss his friendship with sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. You may recall the outcome, an internet-breaking grand tour of alibis from the Falklands War to dope balls in Surrey. Now, inevitably, there is Scoop, a movie that offers to lift the lid on the most wildly botched PR exercise in modern media history. Just as predictably, much of the story goes untold. In what is packaged as a glimpse behind two curtains, the Windsors have to wait. The first palace we see is the BBC's new broadcasting house, haunted by job cuts that might even reach Crown Jewel News Night. Q. Gillian Anderson as star interviewer Emily Maitlis, regal with a whippet. But again, the focus doesn't fall where you might think. More attention goes to Sam McAllister, the colleague who secured the princely interview, played by Billy Piper under blonde curls and Chanel accessories. On screen, a close-up of Piper accompanies McAllister's credit as executive producer. The film adapts her quick-fire book scoops, behind the scenes of the BBC's most shocking interviews. To whatever extent Scoop is about criminality and the British royal family, it is also and much more about a maverick TV booker whose whip-smart grasp of what ordinary viewers want goes unshared by the dullards of BBC News who sideline and deride her while droning about Brexit. Please use the sharing tools found via the share button at the top or side of articles. Copying articles to share with others is a breach of FT.com TNCs and copyright policy. Email licensing at FT.com to buy additional rights. Subscribers may share up to 10 or 20 articles per month using the gift article service. More information can be found at https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash tur. https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash content slash 29043102d-7 for a 5 dash 46 to dash 9b19 dash 19297c88ca90. Across London, the Prince, Rufus Sewell, remains, for now, in a job. The long shadow of his links to Epstein, however, weary him even before his former friend's arrest and death. The perfect solution of a name-clearing TV interview takes shape. Before that come many conversations in small rooms between anxious people and lanyards. In a story about TV itself, the claustrophobia is fitting, whether owed to creative choice or limited budget. Director Philip Martin is a veteran of among other things, the crown. Please use the sharing tools found via the share button at the top or side of articles. Copying articles to share with others is a breach of FT.com TNCs and copyright policy. Email licensing at FT.com to buy additional rights. Subscribers may share up to 10 or 20 articles per month using the gift article service. More information can be found at https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash tur. https colon slash slash www.ft.com slash content slash 29043102d-7 for a 5 dash 46 to dash 9b19 dash 19297c88ca90. Yet the smallness of the thing is also dictated by what stays off limits. We can have our opinions about the prince's association with Epstein. 
The film, of course, can't possibly comment. In the hush, we are left to intuit how or why he believed his cause would be helped by. I didn't sweat at the time. Whispering, the film suggests we join our own doubts about this not overbright man seen berating staff about his stuffed toy collection. But missing too is the scale of what royalty was allegedly mixed up in. The film plays most comfortably as British farce. Less successful are hurried reminders that this is also a story about the serial sexual abuse of girls and women. Images of Epstein's victims land like afterthoughts, bolted on to an underweight story about people who work in TV. Even then, the real news is off-camera. Stranding Mateless as a secondary character is easily explained. Her own version of all this will soon be a sheeny drama made by Amazon. Neither she nor McAllister now work for the BBC. Scoop sometimes pauses to him the important journalism of News Night. Again, we have to tease out the irony ourselves that we're hearing that on Netflix. The BBC itself recently downsized the show. In the end, 